Hi, I'm Maria, back with another video. I had to make another video because the one I made on myself and earlier was just too complicated to upload, so back to the old regular stuff, and that's what I like to say. I'd like to stay safe, you know? Anyway, my first video earlier today that didn't get posted um, was basically me expressing my feeling of lack of enthusiasm and fear of this job search um, because of the psychological abuse that these employers seem to think that it's okay. Um, I don't want to be bothered anymore. And I didn't do anything to deserve the harassment and the abuse. And I just want to get all of my life. And, you know, the job that I'm working right now is creating more depression in me because it is extremely boring and it's a hostile environment, plain and simple. Um, I've had confrontations with the secretary already. And once something like that happens in the office, um, people competing and this kind of bullshit, it's just done. I don't want anything to do with it. So I'm trying really hard to, um, you know, get into my job search, but it's very difficult for me um, because, you know, I, I don't know who to, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to have to go the old-fashioned route, which is very tedious. I'm extremely exhausted and I'm tired. And I, I don't understand why these people are holding this against me when I didn't do anything wrong. I guess it's because my family, um, I don't know what the deal is, you know, but they shouldn't side with my family. They shouldn't have any bias at all. I mean, I'm the one who's right in the situation. So, um, anyway, I'm uh, feeling, I don't really feel a desire to be around people. I mean, and I'm hoping that will change. I just feel like people are just trash at this moment. And I really do feel that way. I just feel like people don't know the difference between right and wrong and what's appropriate, what's not appropriate, and what happened was not appropriate. And of course when you're dealing with this feeling of abandonment and abuse and what do you call it? Betrayal. That's the right word for it. Betrayal of your family. You're already feeling like what the hell, you know, what what is out there, I mean, what, what good is life when you can't trust people? Um, so I'm dealing with the fact that I am no longer attached to these people, and you, it, it, it's not easy. I mean, even though I know that these people are evil, you know, I still thought of them as my family. I can't think of them that way anymore. I just look at them like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Um, what they did was a very serious thing, and it's something that I cannot forgive. I, I will never forget it forgive it. Um, you know, I was a struggling woman when I first came to this town, and um, I was, I don't know, of course I was a lot younger. I mean, it was, what was it? I came here in 2000. And, you know, I came here with my son, and I had every intention of, you know, getting a stable job, buying a house, and having a stable life, you know. Um, none of that ever happened, you know. None of it ever happened. Um, maybe it's because, I, I don't know what the town had against me, maybe it was my race, uh, because I know that people have told me this town is very racist, but, you know, I've always treated people kindly, I've always been very respectful. Um, when I got a job, I always was very hardworking, you know, and did everything I could to demonstrate my skill, and so um, I'm just exhausted at this point, and... Um, my family went too far. And then you got employers who want to exploit the fact that you're from an abusive family. And I I'm looking at people and I'm thinking, what the hell is wrong with people? I mean, I honestly think that um, people are just fucking evil. And I, I really am having a hard time trusting them, you know. Um, I, I don't know why people thought, you know, maybe because I was separated from my husband, but... I really, that is still against the law, and um, when people separate from, you know, in the relationships, that is not anybody's business. It is not, it's not for anybody to um, jump in or try to, you know, even inquire about it. it I mean, uh, don't get me wrong, I, I know people think that, um, they probably assume that I don't like to have fun or I'm not, I don't let loose, and that's not true. I mean, I, if people, if you can, if you knew some of the people that I used to know, everybody knew me as really goofy and just kind of like out there, okay? So I know how to have fun and I know how to keep things lively, but um, when people start to affect other people's lives and start destroying, you know, things that they work for 
and trying to make life decisions for them, you cross the line. And it's something that I cannot, I cannot forgive it. And I am feeling the effects of it because I am trying really hard to get back to where I was before. And I'm really struggling. And I deserve to be, you know, in a position that is better than this. I don't deserve to be stuck in this position. Um, now, there is no reason for me to be discriminated against, okay? And if people think it's because, if, it, if it's because I'm in, um, I was separate from my husband and I got back together, I mean, I, my husband and I have been back together since 2010, okay? So, um, and aside from that, you know, that's nobody's business. It has nothing to do with um, uh, my employment. And my employment, regardless, if I married a millionaire, I would still want to have my own um, my own source of income. That is just how I am. I do not ever want to rely on anybody else's income. That is something that I look down upon. I don't, it's not something that I would ever want. It's not something that I respect, you know. So everybody has the right to do whatever they want, okay, but that's not for me. And, um, you know, I want very much to go back to work, and I keep thinking, what, what how am I going to do this? I'm really struggling to find a job, and, and I can't trust the people that I used to know. Okay, I'm cutting them off. They're either weird religious freaks or to me, whatever. Whatever they did to me is unforgivable and I don't want to deal with them again. I just don't. Um, they're an extension of my family's abuse and so the answer is no. So I have to do things the old-fashioned way and I'm just drained. I'm drained. Um, I am, um, like I said, I did make a video earlier today. I made a video um, on my cell phone. And, you know, I guess the, there were some issues with me uploading it because I guess it was too big or whatever. And I'm like, oh, damn it, you know. Um, so, like I said, you know, I'm okay with making it this way. But, um, yeah, I'm dealing with major depression. Um, I'm not happy in the environment that I'm in. I, I'm struggling financially. And, um, you know, I'm just disgusted by everybody that I've, I've ever known. And I don't ever want to see them ever again, or even know that they exist, okay? Um, I, I get the feeling that my family, since they, if my family doesn't like my husband, the fact of the matter is, I have the right to love who I want, okay? I have the right to love whoever I want. It has nothing to do with my employment. It's got nothing to do with any of it. It doesn't have anything to do with any of it. And like I said, even if I was married to a millionaire, I would still want to work. I don't want to... Um, I don't ever want to rely on anyone's income. I, I really don't have any respect for that kind of lifestyle. And that's fine for some people, but it's not for anything that I ever want. I um, choose to be 100% self-sufficient. And I choose, I don't ever want to be anything other than that. My, my ability to take care of myself is too important for me. And so um, my concern is, is that, I mean, I really want people to understand that I'm good at what I do and I shouldn't be in this situation. Um, this is the worst thing that has ever happened to me in my life. It really is. And I don't want people to, like, for example, if my family thought that I would be interested in somebody else, I, st I feel that that is extremely inappropriate, and I'm offended by it, and I'm disturbed by it, and the very fact that they would even put me in this situation is absolutely terrifying to me. Um, I cannot get over it, the fact of what my family did. I cannot get over it. And I, I mean, every day it plays on my mind, and it is very hard for me to um, have a, 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 a positive, like, you know, attitude about anything anymore. Um, and so I, I, I just feel like they went too far. They went too far. And, um, you know, I just really want to get back and, and, and have a stable income again, and I want to do something that I enjoy. I'm not happy in the situation that I'm in. And I'm very angry at Steve Murray. He had no right to involve himself. I don't care what his, it was his reasons were. He has no excuse. He needs to stay the fuck out of my business. I don't like that man. I don't like his wife. Don't like his family. I wish somebody would just fucking torch that goddamn fucking farm. I fucking hate that asshole. And, um, you know, and the very fact that my sister and him were in even cahoots, it, I cannot get over that. Um, I have every right to pursue my dreams now. I'm far more qualified than the majority of people um, that I know. I mean, I'm not saying, I mean, there's, there's people better than me. I'm sure there, there probably is someone out there, but I'm qualified now, and I want to pursue my goals. I don't want to be stuck in this situation anymore. I don't. Um, Steve Murray should be sued. 
he really should be, and my family should be sued, and I don't care. See, I think a lot of, like, when I called um, a couple of the, um, couple of, a couple of lawyers that I called in, in the Antelope Valley, as well as in Los Angeles, and I can't believe that lawyers couldn't have figured this shit out, okay? What really bothers me about some of these people um, is that they don't fully understand the laws themselves. Like, some of these employer, uh, employ, employer um, laws, what do you call it? Um, employment lawyers. Uh, it doesn't matter if my family was behind it. There was the, still, the ultimate responsibility is the employer. Okay? The ultimate responsibility is the employer because they're supposed to have somebody in place knowing to, to um, who knows, to make sure that this stuff should not happen. Okay? And I don't care what anybody's excuse is, it is the employer's fault. So, I really do, I wish that I could sue Steve Murray. He deserves to be sued. Um, my family deserves to be fucking sued, and I don't ever want, I want this to just stop, okay? Um, I had a job interview, a phone interview a couple of days ago, and I refused to, I refused to, um, pick up the, pick up the line, because I'm tired of the abuse that these people are trying to inflict for no good reason. Um, and that's exactly what it is. It's fucking abuse. I mean, I didn't do anything wrong. All it was, I was on Facebook, okay? And I do realize that Facebook is a, um, I don't recommend anybody being on Facebook for the simple fact that this makes it easier to target you. And it creates an issue that is very widespread and it can. For example, I have people in different states and countries contacting me at one point because of Facebook. And, um, and the gossip just gets out of control. So, I am not going to be on Facebook. I am on YouTube. And I'm also, I feel, yeah, I have at least an account off and on, but for the most part, I'm off of social media for this very reason. Um, you can, I can't get over the family of betrayal. I can't believe that these people make a, made a conscious decision to make me poor. Okay? I'm broke. And I don't care if my family thought that maybe I would, maybe they wanted to hook me up with somebody else or whatever. I don't care. Okay? I don't ever want anything to affect my employment. I don't want anything to stand in the way. That is the worst thing anybody could ever do to anybody else. Okay? Right now, I'm broke. Okay? And I love my husband. And the very thought that somebody would even try to rip me apart from somebody that I care about is extremely disturbing to me. It's wrong. Okay? It's just wrong. And um, I love my husband. And I'm very happy with him. I don't want to be with anyone else. I'm comfortable in my home life. Okay? I'm comfortable in my home life. And I don't want to change my life. I don't. And I'm, I'm sad. I'm very depressed that, um, that I'm in this situation that um, I'm having a very hard time getting out of. I don't want to work where I'm working right now. I don't. I mean, I hate it. I hated it from the very, uh, from day fucking one. I hated it. Didn't want the job. Don't like the job. Um, I don't want it. And, um, I want, I don't know what I want anymore. I mean, I do want, I want to get back to work and doing what I want. But as far as, like, my social life with people, I'm not even sure if that's possible. Because right now, I mean, right now when I look at people and think of people, all I can think of is that they're trying to destroy me. I, I, that's what I'm thinking in the back of my mind. And I can't help but think that because I, the, the trauma has been happening over and over and over again. And I can't, I can't feel anything for anybody anymore. I can't. I just can't. Um, all I care about are the people in my house. And everyone on the outside are just exactly that. They're outsiders and they can't be trusted. They cannot be trusted. Um, I need to get back to work. And I, I'm trying to give it one more chance. And I want to find something else because this is not working out. This is not working out. I'm extremely depressed. And um, this is the worst job anybody could ever have set me up in. It's the worst. It is the worst. And um, I mean... When I think of my family, I'm just absolutely disgusted by them. I'm absolutely disgusted by them. Um, anyway, it's very difficult for me to um, get up in the morning. Seriously, I mean, it, it's that bad. It is that bad. I don't want to get up in the morning. I don't want to go to that job anymore. Um, I'm going to blow this. So much dust in this house. I hate getting up in the morning. I don't even enjoy social interactions anymore. I don't. To me, I just look at people like, what What the fuck are you, what are you going to do now? What, what, what kind of evil are you? I mean, I don't trust anyone anymore. And, um, I can't, I can't stop it. I can't, 
I can't fix the way that I feel. Um, and only time will fix that, and maybe it will never. I mean, because this is the sort of damage you can't repair, you can't reverse it, you can't fix it. It's something that um, is extremely traumatizing. And it's, it, when people when people make the comparison of the post traumatic stress disorder, like going to war, I can honestly tell you that it's not an exaggeration. It is not an exaggeration. It's not something that I'm making up just for attention. Believe me, I'm not the kind of person who likes attention. I don't like attention. I really don't. Um, you know, I. I try to make myself comfortable, and I try to, um, you know, blend in enough, but I don't want enough to where I don't want, I don't want a lot of attention. I'm not one of those people who feels comfortable with it. Um, you know, I want to be able to, um, you know, just fit in and get on with my life. I don't, I don't want to, um, I don't want, you know, I don't like a lot of, um, you know, I mean, you, of course you want to make friends and stuff, but you, I just don't like the situations that happen, you know, at the other places, you know, and that makes me uncomfortable. And I certainly don't like the fact that these employers would actually participate in gang stalking. I, I just don't like it. Um, I don't want to be baited. I don't want to be called in for fake interviews. I don't want anybody calling me for fake interviews. I don't want anybody making contact with me unless, of course, they're serious. And, and other than that... I don't really want to be abused. I don't, it, it is. It's a fucking form of abuse, plain and simple. It's not something that um, I appreciate. I don't want to take time off from work. I don't want to go over to a, a place of employment to discuss, you know, have a fake interview because that's a waste of my time. And like I said, if you're calling me in there for reasons other than to consider me for hiring, then it's a fucking abuse. And that's it's plain and simple. It's abuse. And, um... I want to get back with what I was doing. I don't want to sit here and, you know, be stuck in this situation. I shouldn't be stuck in this situation. I didn't do anything wrong, you know. And um, every day that I have to go to that job, I think more about my family. I think more about the whole situation. And it's extremely depressing for me. It is extremely depressing for me, and I hate it. I hate that job. I don't want to be there. I, I dread going there. I, I wake up in the morning, and I'm just sick. I'm literally sick. I just don't want to communicate with these people. Um, you know, I, I don't. Even if somebody even talks to me or they make a joke or something, you know, um, I talk to the owner, but other than that, I don't really want to talk to anybody at all. I hate them all. Seriously, I hate them all. Um, you know, for example, if, if somebody thought that I was, um, I mean, seriously, if somebody thought that I was just a, a, a terrible person, you know, what, what, and what in their mind constitutes uh, or or um, makes or define what in their mind defines a, a bad person? Because I'm going to tell you what I never did anything to deserve this. I didn't. Um, the only thing I did was you know I came in this town with my brown skin. That's pretty much the only thing I did, and um, I don't deserve it. I mean I'm, I deserve a position that pays well and allows me to utilize my leadership skills. I, I, and that's what I need to do. I don't need to do anything else. I don't want to do anything else. And I don't want to be stuck in this fucking job. So I want to get out as soon as possible. And I'm hoping that I will be because this is making me very depressed. It's, it's extremely depressing for me. And, um, and I'm broke. I mean, good grief. I mean, you know, and I know Holly Colhane's involved in this. And it's looks like she's such a fucking bitch, okay? She's a fucking racist cunt bitch, okay? Because... First of all, you know, she, she said many times that you don't want to put people in position when they're not enthusiastic about it, okay? But, yeah, she knows my family. She's affiliated with them. And, yet I'm sitting here in a job that's not well-suited for me, okay? Um, I know more than she does, and she doesn't deserve her position, plain and fucking simple, okay? I deserve to be making a shitload of money, and I really don't want to be making $15, 15 an hour. It doesn't fucking make any sense, you know? Okay, so, anyway, I'm down to one minute and 25 seconds and I make these videos because I need to talk about it I need to talk about it and I, there's not enough ta ta um, targeted individuals and um, and the people that I do know you know I talk to them about this shit every day and it gets draining so these videos are helping me you know talk things out and get my head straight so and I'm not the kind of person who likes to share my thoughts with people either, you know. But anyway, to make a long story short, I wish employers would stop doing this. I wish they would, to, they really need to stop doing it um, because it does put people in a system that is very difficult to get out. 
and it destroys their life. It destroys everything that they ever cared for. It destroys them 100%. And I, I am wondering, am I ever going to be able to be happy again? Am I ever going to be, you know, feel safe and secure? Am I ever going to, like, work again? And, um, anyway, I just wish that employers wouldn't do this anymore because it's, it's wrong. It's wrong, and, um, it violates, you know, the privacy and rights of, of other people. So anyway, wrapping up this video, i got 16 seconds left, so I'm going to cut it short. Take care. Bye-bye.